Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, I'm going to do a pre-fight preview, uh, well, pre-fight uh, prediction of uh, Manny Pacquiao and Antonio Margarito. Uh, let's see. All right, so uh, I went back and I looked at a couple of rounds of the uh, uh, Antonio Margarito and the Sugar Shane fight. Just look at a couple of rounds of it just to uh, refresh some of my uh, knowledge about uh, Margarito. I haven't seen him fight, fought, haven't seen him fight in a long time, and I really didn't uh, look at anything about Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I didn't have any uh, like right now. I'm in college right now. I got my I'm in my dorm, so I don't have none of my stuff. Like all my stuff is at home. So uh. Yeah, like, I didn't feel like going on YouTube to look at anything, so I'm just going to go off the top of my head on uh, Manny Pacquiao and just uh, go off some stuff that I've seen on uh, 24-7. But, yeah, uh, I think the fight's going to be a good fight. Hopefully, I get a chance to see it, uh, uh, go go away to go see it. Uh, but uh, I think Manny Pacquiao should win. I think he should take this. Uh, he has uh, he's, uh, he, al he obviously has the hand speed. Uh, a couple of things I do notice about Manny Pacquiao is that uh, he has flying elbows, um, uh, sometimes he puts too much weight on his front foot. Uh, he gets some, he gets wild at sometimes. And, uh, let's see. He, he also leaves himself open sometimes. And, like, there's some other stuff that he do too. But, like, on, on a positive side, he, he has a uh, fast hands. Uh, he has a good, uh, strength and conditioning coach that helps him come in the ring strong. Um, uh, he's smart in the ring at times, so like those are plus positives for him. Uh, Antonio Margarito, uh, to me, he's not a good fighter. I think I think he sucks. Uh, to be honest, like I, I'm not really a big Margarito fan. Like he sucks to me. But uh, he has some good fights. Uh, I went back and looked at a couple rounds of the Shane Mosley fight, and um, and I watched a little bit of Twenty Four Seven. Not. I wasn't basing like off of for like in another video say you're not really supposed to base your stuff off of watching that, but I just uh watched how he sparred and watched how he was hitting the uh hitting the mitts and stuff. And I noticed uh he has flying elbows too. But I noticed about him he do a lot of winging punches. And uh, uh in this fight he see he actually seems focused. Like watching twenty four seven, like he actually seems focused. Um, Manny, they put out there that uh, Manny's not focused. I've seen stuff on different boxing websites that he's uh, they uh, they don't think he's focused and that they that they think it's gonna have a big impact on the fight. But then again, it might be uh, something to hype the fight up, or it might just be uh, it could be a number of things, uh, numerous things, just to get people to buy the fight, hype the fight up. He could actually be uh, not focused, or it could be like a trick to. Uh, have a, a margarito camp think he's uh, gonna come in there and not focus or anything so it could be a, a whole number of things that they could be trying to do in this fight but yeah uh, yeah um, I noticed sometimes Antonio uh, he hops in sometimes like I don't know if any of you paid attention or caught it I didn't caught it until like a couple seconds ago like I, I guess I would have to show you but, I don't, uh, but he kind of like hops in sometime and not really supposed to hop in supposed to step in and uh, I noticed one thing is that sometimes he looks down while he's punching. Like, his head will be down and he'll be punching sometimes. And uh, that's not good either. I, I think I've seen Manny do that a couple times. I can't remember, but I'm not too, I'm not quite sure. Also, uh, I've seen uh, Manny do stuff as in, like, he'll come up. Like, his back foot will be off the, uh, will be off the canvas sometime when he punches, when he gets into his little flurries. And that's not good either. But overall, I think uh, Manny... Should take this fight. I think he should win. Uh, this is another in-house fight for uh, Bob Arum. I don't think he would have set this up because, uh, like, right now Manny Pacquiao is his cash cow. Um, uh, another thing uh, I'm gonna comment on what Manny said in uh, the first episode of Twenty Four Seven. He was. Uh, they said uh, Margarito that they needed to give him another chance. That uh, if he cheated, he cheated. That they needed to give him another chance. I mean, like, I feel he, like, he, uh, everybody deserves a, uh, deserves a second chance, but, uh, this is boxing, like, you go in there, you, uh, you put your life in, you put your life on the line every time you get in the ring, and, uh, he could've, he could've done serious damage to Shane Mosley or anybody else, and, uh, yeah, but, uh, back to what I was saying, uh, Margarito, he's not really a good fighter to me, uh, I think, the reason why 
he had some of the wins that he had thus far might have been because of those raps because like you don't know how like how far back he been using them i think i don't think the shane mosley fight was his first fight using them i think he's used those uh i think he used past appearance before uh I, th I think he used it in the Cotto fight. Um, he might have used it in the uh, Paul Williams fight, but just Paul Williams is more so his size, so uh, like size as in height wise. So and uh, Paul Williams was probably more skill level than he is, so it didn't get wasn't get to be wasn't used as effectively uh, as it could have been. Kind it's kind of neutralized, put it that way. But yeah, uh, well you got to remember. Uh, yeah, cause like he was Margarito, he was going around beating everybody. Like, I like he was like I didn't think he was all that, but a lot of people thought he was all that. He was the most feared person in boxing, and uh, so like a lot of people thought he was the uh he thought he was the shit. And uh, I never really liked him like talk about, cause like Shane Mosley, if you if you, any of you guys remember, Shane Mosley was actually bought in that fight to lose. Shane Mosley was supposed to lose that fight. He wasn't supposed to win. Like I don't know if it, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but. Shane Mosley was supposed to lose that fight. Everybody thought Shane Mosley was gonna lose. Even I thought Shane Mosley was gonna lose because uh, Shane Mosley, like, like you couldn't you couldn't count on him to win. Like he had big fights and lose. And then uh, at the same time, Margarito he was going around beating everybody. And uh, yeah, so I was like surprised. So like his weapons were taken away in that fight. So uh, he could he couldn't do nothing. His weapons were taken away. He was exposed. So. Uh, this fight, like I think, he, I think he's real focused. This fight, I, th I think he might do some damage to Pacquiao. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. But overall, I do think Manny Pacquiao is gonna come out with a victory. Uh, one thing I noticed, uh, Margarito. Well, I didn't notice it until the uh, Miguel Cotto fight that uh, he's a he's a pressure fighter, or like I don't know if they, they, I don't know if he did that because he knew his hands were loaded. If well, if they were loaded, I think they were loaded. But like, just say if they were. Like if he knew his hands were if he knew his hands were were loaded, cause like uh that like you know you got the upper hand, you just gonna come anyway, cause like I noticed in that fight he threw a lot of uppercuts. Like uppercuts are supposedly uh the punch that has uh is the most powerful punch. If you go back and look, uh Margarito he he threw a lot of uppercuts. So uh yeah, like I didn't really notice it to that fight. I've seen other people's uh uh Predictions and uh, how they said that uh, that uh, that they noticed it and everything, and uh, also I've never really seen too many Manny Pacquiao fights. Um, I've seen them like afterwards, and uh, I don't even know if I have any more. Uh, I know I, well, I used to have uh, some on my computer, but uh, I caught a virus and I had to uh, get rid of them. But yeah, uh, uh, they say he don't clinch. I've never really paid any attention. But uh, now, but now, now that they, I've heard other people say it, and I go back and think about it, I don't recall ever seeing Manny Pacquiao clinch. So yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully it'll be a good fight. Uh, I think I think Manny Pacquiao should prevail, and then hopefully sometime 2011, uh, after Floyd get uh, through with all his uh, all his uh, court cases, uh, hopefully we see a uh, Mayweather Pacquiao. But like in the end, I think uh, Manny Pacquiao should uh, beat Margarito. Uh, I won't be surprised if Margarito uh, put something on Pacquiao, cause uh, uh, Margarito he should like he's at the height that he should be able to keep uh, Manny off his jab all night long, keep him off his jab all night. That would be like a smart thing, smart and easy way to win. But like sometimes uh, fighters we get uh, we get a little. Sometimes we just want to rumble. Sometimes I know sometimes. Uh, I've been in the ring with uh, people that's uh, been like I've been that I've had a height advantage again, against and I, all I had to, all I have to do is really keep them at the end of my jab and sometimes I just want to rumble sometimes I just want to pop just do something but yeah but overall I think uh, Manny Pacquiao is going to win and uh, I guess we won't have to I guess we'll have to wait and see November thirteenth.